Now, the fear of a recession is doing the rounds at the World Economic Forum's annual summit in Davos, but not every company is overtly concerned. Now, the Indian auto giant Mahindra Group sees no fears of an economic slowdown or a recession, and Anisha, the MD and CEO of Mahindra Group, discusses about the management's views and also plans with Vyond business editor Sumit Chaturvedi. Take a listen. We are here at World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. Many Indian companies are here, Indian conglomerates. The companies who export out of India, they have expanded out of India. One such company is Mahindra Group and uh, we are joined by its uh, Mahindra's uh, Anish Shah. So thanks for talking to us. First of all, in Davos, you have now a regular attendee now. Uh, what's different this time? Uh, there is snow, which there wasn't last time. Uh, there is more bullishness on India as well. Uh, we had seen that last time. I think there are still some questions out there, but uh, overall people are a lot more uh, open to exploring India, putting investments into India, and uh, I think that's a positive thing for us. Okay, and talking about uh, your sector, auto sector, well, there are lots happening there uh, in auto industry. In India, vehicles are on, on a large waiting list, including some of yours as well. So there is no uh, uh, danger of recession, it seems. We are well positioned right now for recession and that is a function of the products we've launched in the last couple of years. Um, there is still a long wait time, we are doubling capacity for auto business and that will help reduce the wait times. Uh, and the Indian consumer I do feel will uh, weather the storm fairly well. We will see that storm globally, we will see some impact in India. Uh, but on balance, India should be better positioned than the rest of the world. What about uh, the, some problems you faced last year, supply chain challenges, chip problems? Uh, how are you positioned them to, uh, to, to tackle them now? And what is the situation as of now? The situation is far better. We did have a number of production disruptions last year. Um, some were handled, some could not be handled. Uh, and we had to defer production. But uh, now, at least, supply for what's required is pretty much on track. We continue to see problems that come in, but nothing that's very significant at this point. So it's right to say that you're not slowing, uh, seeing any slowdown in India's auto sector uh, standing in the beginning of 2023? Well, I can speak for Mahindra right now. Uh, at least for the demand that we're seeing for our vehicles, we're not seeing any slowdown. Uh, you are a big, uh, we can say that, a big manufacturer of electric vehicles. You're pushing them a lot in, in India. What's your plan as far as EVs are concerned? So we've got a very aggressive plan around EVs. And uh, we've got uh, on our drawing board uh, some of the best EVs that are there. So we will have a whole range of born electric EV SUVs. And uh, that will come in place uh, over the next couple of years. So EV is going to be real, your real play when it comes to pushing things in India auto sector. But do you think that the petrol and diesel vehicles, they're going to take a back burner or maybe slow down there? We do see a much faster adoption of EV uh, because in many ways it's a more fun car to drive, there's more space in the car. So I think a lot will depend on the quality of vehicles that come out. Uh, our plan is to launch five bond electric SUVs and uh, those will give the consumer lots of choices. There may still be some who prefer petrol and diesel. So this transition is not going to happen overnight. Our expectation is that in the next five years, we will likely go to 25%, maybe 30% uh, at the upper limit. And then beyond that, there will be an inflection point. That inflection point will be driven by charging time because that will drive infrastructure. And as you have infrastructure come in, it has to be as prevalent as petrol pumps are today. Uh, and once that happens, you'll see a much faster adoption to EV. We were talking to some, some corporates on slowdown and recession issues and they're of the view that it's a good opportunity to go in fact and inquire com acquire companies as well. Are you of the same belief? Uh, well, every problem has an opportunity and uh, we are well positioned for the recession right now if it does come. So we will look at being aggressive. We will look at uh, expanding our operations. And if that means acquisitions, yes, we will look at that as well. And exports, what's the status there? Is it the slowing down of economies? Is that concerning you when it comes to exports? Uh, we actually have a lot more demand right now, uh, given the vehicles we have. Uh, we have been exporting a lot less in order to meet the commitments to our customers in India. Uh, so as we increase capacity, meet those commitments, that's when we will ramp up exports. So for us right now, we've essentially reduced the exports we have. One last question on the budget justice, which is going to be announced in few weeks from now. Any expectations from the budget this time? I would say that in the last few years, the budgets have been actually very growth oriented and um, good for the economy. I would expect the same.